Hello, my name is Joshua Rudd with Rudd's Home Farm. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about the huge difference between fluorescent lighting and LED lighting and which is the best for your indoor grow setup. Stay tuned. Number one, the biggest difference between fluorescent lighting and LED lighting is the spectrum difference. Fluorescent lights may appear white, but they're actually made up of several bands of light that come together to appear white. As you can see in this video, as this picture here that I'm showing you. So take a second to take a look. You can see that the lines, it's not really a great picture, but the line, you can see that there's bright lines and those are the specific wavelengths that fluorescent light gives and then combined it appears white, but it's not a true full spectrum bulb. On the other hand, LED lighting as shown here is a smooth spectrum all the way through from deep purple all the way to dark deep red. So as you can see, you're trying to mimic the sun when you're giving the plants. The plants love the sun the best and so you're trying to give the best substitute of the sun and then the sun has a full spectrum. So if you want something that is better, LED lighting is going to give you that closer to sunlight spectrum. I used a spectrometer right here. You should have one of these if you're into growing, buying lights. This breaks down the spectrum, it's only a few dollars. Great investment, I'm able to, when I buy lights, I take a look at them to make sure that the uh, spectrum is the same as the manufacturer says, but that's later in the video. Number two, heat difference. Fluorescent light produces a lot more heat than LED lighting in both the light itself and in the ballast that controls them. Whenever you produce heat as part of an operation, electrical operation, that is wasted energy. And so LED lightings are always cooler and therefore they are more efficient. Number three, electricity consumption difference. T8 grow lights, which is the best type of fluorescent grow lights available that gives the best spectrum, uses more electricity and provides less light to your plants in comparison to LED lightings due to the excessive heat difference and the spectrum difference. Fluorescent lights dim as they grow older and maybe half their life they'll be dimmer than when you first bought them. Meaning LED lighting just is either it works or it doesn't. LED lighting also has a longer shelf life, a longer life usage comparing to fluorescent lighting. And LED lighting can use up to less than 50% of the amount that fluorescent light uses. So that's a 50% savings in your money, especially if you get into price difference, which is our next slide. Number four, price difference. Prices vary greatly. Higher end LED lights can cost up to several hundred dollars a light. Those are for you know the commercial growers that wanna get that 100% as close to uh, sunlight as possible and get their plants to grow in the best, the fastest. But for an everyday hobbyist and um, people like me and you, uh, a lower LED light is, is sufficient for everything you use. I use, uh, these, these are just regular lights here. These are about $60. So, um, these are not available anymore, but a similar shop light that you would get from Home Depot or from Amazon. Links are in the description for everything that I, I, uh, I use here. Links are all in the description, but pretty much just an LED shop light is still better than a fluorescent light in both cost and wattage because a shop light is only about $20. An LED shop light is only about $20, $30. And then you would pay the same for a fluorescent light as well and you would consume more electricity. So LED is definitely the choice in growing, LED, uh, growing your plants. Finally, information difference. Now this is a con for an LED lightings. Pretty much LED manufacturers are often misleading on the spectrum, the wattage, and the watts drawn from the wall. They believe that a big number is better than a smaller number, so they put the maximum rated capacity of an LED light instead of actually what the capacity is used. 
So if you go online, I can show you a picture right here. You can see that this one has a thousand watts or 12, 1200 watts. It's a huge number, right? You're like, wow, that must give me so much power. But if you scroll down to the actual wattage used more towards the bottom, it's only like 100 watts, between 100 and 200 watts. So why would they do this? It's because they like it's a selling point. It's this big number that gets you in, but it's not a realistic number. If you were to use LED lights at that maximum wattage capacity, they would not have a very long life. But I have combed through this and I have checked everything out and I'm gonna put in the descriptions grow lights that I truly trust and I'll even emphasize the wattage and the watts from the wall. And if this is truly a full spectrum light, you should only be getting full spectrum LED lights. That purple, blue, purple grow light that you need is not a full spectrum light bulb. That's outdated information. People think that you can grow with just blue color and red color and that's all you need. And technically you can technically grow a plant, but it's not gonna be the best. So if you're gonna grow indoors, give your plants the best you can give and give them full spectrum just like the sun. The sun gives them full spectrum and so should you. Thank you for joining me today on this episode of Rudd's Home Farm. If you like it, subscribe, like it, leave a comment below and tell me which type of lights that you prefer to use and if you're using fluorescent lightings, talk to me about it. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.